Hey everybody, Richard again here from Electric Classic Cars, and on this week's episode, we're going to stop that from doing this. Let's get into it. Now, to stop that from making these, we're going to need traction control, and to find out how that works, we're going to get in the workshop. Now, before we get into this, let's just take a moment to admire my artwork. Yes, that is a car. And yes, you can stop laughing now because we need to get into traction control. Now, the three different types of traction control I've used over the years is rotational acceleration management, um, wheel speed sensor, and GPS. Now, to explain what those are very quickly, so this is a graph of time versus RPM in old talk. And essentially, this is the allowed acceleration that the wheels can spin at. And if you're accelerating and you spin the wheels, it'll go above that line. And rotational or rate of acceleration, rate of rotational acceleration management will stop it from doing that. So it'll kind of bring it back down here and away you go. Very simple, but quite flawed. Why? Because essentially that's all very well when it's dry, but when it's wet, it's going to be down here and above there and oh, it's completely different. So it's a, what's called a static type of um, traction control system. And better is a dynamic traction control system, which is what's going down on down here. So wheel speed sensor systems is what I've used in the past. You put a wheel speed sensor on the front wheel if it's a rear wheel drive car. And essentially, you need to make sure that your rear drive wheels are rotating at no faster than the front wheels, because if they are, they're spinning and that's bad. Traction control with them kicking. And the other system, which is what we're using on the Ferrari, is a GPS sensor. So if I draw a universal symbol for a GPS sensor, yes, that's a GPS sensor there, Tim. Um, so that's a GPS antenna, and that is very accurately measuring the speed of the car and sending that to the motor controller to see are you or do you think you're driving any faster than you're actually driving? Because if you are, you're spinning the wheel and then traction control kicks in. But that's what it looks like on a whiteboard. Let's see how effective that is out on the road. I must admit, I was very dubious as to how well GPS-based traction control systems would work. And you guys are probably sitting at home thinking, yeah, I don't think it's going to be very good. Well. To show you how good they are, I'm going to demonstrate it to you. So first of all, I'm going to do a run with traction control switched off. So I'm going to put the windows up because it might get a bit smoky. Well, how was that? Did you get that? <coughs> <laughs> it's smoky. So, I was looking in my mirror, I couldn't even see you, it's just this cloud of smoke. But uh, that wasn't fun, obviously, that was purely for scientific research uh, purposes, because now I want to see what it's going to be like with traction control on. So let's try that. How was that one? Well, it was a lot less drama, but it did look a bit quicker. It was definitely quicker, and I tell you what, it's a lot less pollution as well. That's right. I reckon, because uh, it definitely feels quicker, let's go and do some uh, road tests, North 60s. Some real life testing. Some proper North 60 tests. Right, press stop, get in the car, let's go. We've come to the middle of the middle of nowhere now to do some back-to-back -back 0 to 60 tests with traction control on versus off. And we've decided it's better to do both tests now rather than compare it to the previous episode because quite frankly, the road temperatures are a lot colder now and the state of charge is completely different. It's less than 50%. So to be fair, we're gonna do back-to-back -back tests 
all in one, if you like. Um, but before we get into that, I just want to explain why traction control is better on an electric vehicle compared to an internal combustion engine. And it all comes down to managing the slip of the tyre and how fast you can do that, because the best you can hope to derate the engine once a tyre starts slipping with an internal combustion engine is a few times a second. But with an electric motor, you're controlling that motor hundreds of times a second. So you have a lot quicker chance of catching that slip and managing it in an electric vehicle compared to an internal combustion engine. So right now we're going to find a little straight stretch of quiet road and do some Nord 60 tests. So let's get in the car and crack on with that. find a, a straight, flat and quiet road in Wales, it's quite some task, isn't it? <laughs> the flat bit, yeah. <laughs> Quiet's okay. So we found one and uh, Tim's now got the drag in his hands uh, ready to record. I think what we'll do first is traction control off, because yep. it's off currently. So we'll do three runs, that way, return run and that way again. Then we'll do the same again, traction control on and compare the times because this is about comparison of on versus off this isn't like what's the optimum 0 to 60 today it's just literally a comparison of what the um traction control gains us if you like so you ready yeah i'm ready right i feel like we should have somebody on the window going three <laughs> two one like that i'll do that you right. ready uh yeah I'll just make sure i'm good okay three two one go Sixty. God, that didn't take long. That is quick, isn't it? <laughs> that didn't take long. Wow. Uh, right, let's turn around. Do another run. Turn around. Yep. Ready? Yeah. Number two. Okay. Here we go. Track control off and. Oh. Sixty. <laughs> it's, 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 it's just comes too quickly, doesn't it? It's a good job we got headrests. It certainly is. <laughs> Traction control off, number three. I'm going to see if I can push it a little bit more now and see if I can really balance the uh, traction. All right, you ready? I'm ready. Oh, oh, oh no. Oh, too much wheel spin. I think I pushed that one a little bit too far. God, there was a bit of wheel spin there, wasn't there? Yeah, too much wheel spin on that. Right, you ready for the first traction control on? Yeah, number one, traction control on. Right, okie doke. Brace yourself. Brace yourself. Okay, ready? Yeah. Oh, God. That's <laughs> strong. The force is strong in this one. It does feel different, doesn't it? Yeah. And I can just put my foot down. Yeah. Whereas yeah. before I was kind of like, feathering it and just feeling where the yeah, traction is. you can is. feel that. I just gun it now. It's much easier. Even an idiot can do it now. Even an idiot can do it. Right, does that mean you want to have a go? <laughs> <laughs> okay, so traction control on. Test number two. Number two. Ready? Ready. God, it hurts your inside, doesn't it? My neck's, uh, <laughs> my neck's starting to go. I'm just leaning my uh, head back on the headrest each time now. It's easier. Last test. Traction control on. Yeah. I'm gonna, I would say I'm going to gun it. I mean, it's just put your foot down and go. Ready? Ready. Let's go. Way. It picked up there. Oh, that's oh. quick. Right. Let's pull over here. I think what we'll do is we'll look at the, the best time of each scenario. Yeah, best out of the three. Rather than an average, because that one of those traction control off ones was pretty bad. So let's have a look. What's the scores on the doors? The scores on the doors are the fastest time for traction control off was nigh on five seconds. Yeah. And the fastest time 0 to 60 for traction control on was 4.35 seconds 
So a noticeable improvement. So three quarters of a second quicker yeah. between traction control on, on and off. Correct. But you can feel it though, can't you? Oh, you can you totally can feel, feel it. the difference with it on. You can feel the progressive acceleration, and with it on, I could feel you feathering the Just accelerator, balancing, yeah. balancing the power with the traction. Yeah. yeah. But uh, I mean, as far as traction control on is concerned, from a driver's point of view. I had so much confidence just to plant my foot then. It was just, you know, so easy. No surprises there. I think we're all expecting the North 60 performance to be better with traction control on compared to off. But it's not all about performance with traction control. It's the added safety element as well. I feel a lot more confidence putting my foot down now and getting that power down going around corners with the traction control on compared to when it was off. And that will especially become apparent when the roads are wet and slippy. And now I've got the confidence going around the corners and getting that power down, I really can't wait to get the, the suspension tuned and sorted as well, which will be on our next episode. And after that one, what comes next, Tim? On the track, it's track day time. So make sure you're subscribed onto this channel and stay tuned for the next episode. And on that note, I hope you enjoyed this episode and we'll see you on the next one.